Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Friday, August 4th, and the energies in the day adds up and reduces the number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, we are working with the beaver energy and when it comes to the beaver energy the beaver brings me to the importance of structure foundation and knowing when to build because the beaver energy ties into building so whenever the beaver spirit comes into your world just know that it is time for you to start looking for you know a place to build or securing the foundation that you're building um, when it comes to beaver energy beavers build wherever there is running water so when it comes to the running water it brings me to the thought of intuition intuition and our intuition communicates to us through our imagination and through our emotions i remember watching something uh, where scientists did a study and they had a radio inside of a, a, a space with beavers and the radio was playing the sound of running water and the beavers built a dam over that running water so it just goes to show how that sound is a natural trigger or calling from the universe that tells you when it's time to build you know it's just a natural knowing so that brings me to the thought of omens and how omens could be beneficial and how it's helpful you know to build not even helpful how it's vital to have that relationship with the universe where you just trust and you know that the universe will send you signs and symbolisms to guide you on every step and to get lost in the signs and the symbolisms and just trust and knowing the difference between the universe guiding you and the difference between your imagination wanting things to be a certain way because of something that we've seen because like say Pisces energy the moon is still in Pisces and it's conjunct Neptune and one thing with Pisces energy like 12th house Neptune energy that energy rules Hollywood it rules the movies it rules uh say the subconscious mind it, it rules uh how you know we can be programmed and not even realize that we're being programmed it, it brings me to the thought of how we can watch movies and just through movie it brings me to how movies marketing just any form of any medium of marketing and how those things could uh basically imprint itself on our subconscious and we have visions and leave visions or visuals of certain things and we think that we want these things when really it's something that we've been conditioned to think that we want like it's not a coincidence that most people are attracted to the same kind of person the same kind of look like that's not a coincidence that comes from programming so you know some people will come across a person and because that person fits per perfectly fits the image of you know a movie or something that has left a mental imprint on them or it doesn't even have to be a movie or it doesn't even have to move be a movie or marketing it could be you know something they saw growing up and you know that thing could feel familiar it could feel like home and from it feeling familiar and feeling like home, our imaginations start running movies and we start telling ourselves like, you know, this is my twin flame. This is my soulmate type of situation when really that person is familiar and they feel like home because of how it feels when, you know, because of how it feels when you see them because they fit in 
a box. They fit some kind of an image, you know, and from them fitting that image, we're able to project onto them and run our ideal movie, run our ideal movie and live a fantasy. And whenever people step out of character, we feel betrayed. We feel like they tricked us. We feel like, you know, yeah, we feel betrayed and we feel like they tricked us. Lately, I've been watching a lot of like, uh, like catfish videos where these people meet these people on say Facebook and different platforms like that and end up sending their life savings to these uh scammers, these social uh social these catfish uh these people who aren't who they say they are. And the whole time these people don't even realize that they're in love with their own imagination. Like the person on the other end uh, shows a picture of someone else and they're attracted to the picture just from the picture alone they're fantasizing a future and yes the person on the other end is messaging back and in certain cases you know they're having conversations but they never have a face-to-face -face interaction with the person is just the messages that the person is sending that saying all the right things that they want to hear so just from saying all the right things they want to hear and the imagery you know they create this this romance in their head and it's so strong and it's so real to the point that they're they, they empty their bank accounts take out loans and do all these things just to you know keep it going so it just shows the power of the imagination the power of the mind and how the imagination can feel like it's intuition but it's not intuition um but it'll feel like intuition because it feels so emotionally strong it's like this has to be the universe but no, there's this image that, you know, there's this image that we've been sold or this story that we've been sold. And we finally have this opportunity to create our own movie around this story or image that has been sold to us. And, you know, that's where we, de we deceive ourselves. And it's from studying Neptune energy. I realized that like others can't betray us or manipulate us without our permission without our permission in the sense that in every situation where we're manipulated or deceived there's something that we there's something that benefits us in return to to see the delusion you know there it, it means something to us in the sense that in some situations it might mean that you know that I'm lovable to be able to come across this kind of person that I think is absolutely amazing and they're into me and for them to be into me you know talking about the whole the the, the catfish um scammer situation you know for this person to look the way they do and them being into me it means something to me it's my happily ever after it's this match this story that's in my mind and they're making this story real by showing up it's like you know it's like a fairy tale it's a dream come true so it's like something is in it for me and i already have this image in my mind and they come and together you know them being the image and i'm running a movie and it's like it's like wow it's a dream come true but at the end of the day others can't manipulate us <clears throat> without our permission because we all have intuition but intuition is so hard to read when our emotions and imageries in our mind when stories we've been told or stories we tell ourselves are bigger are, are so strong and heavy towards like we can't hear anything else and that drowns out our intuition so when it comes to the beaver energy today it brings me you know the energies in today brings me to the importance of knowing the difference between your intuition speaking and your imagination that's backed by emotional demands and i say backed by emotional demands because there's something that we will gain uh from our imagination backed by emotional demands that will make us feel good, that will mean something about us. The day adds up and reduce the number one vibration. So that brings some newness, some new beginning to the day. And the day is the fourth and the number four deals with structure. It's a foundational energy like the beaver energy. So something about today being the eighth month and the fourth of fourth day within the eighth month, a lot around our stability, our security. And when it comes to our, our, our stability and security, something new starts, whether it's a new idea or perspective on how to create more stability or foundation or security for ourselves. Something that's coming to mind um, that someone probably needs to hear 
is how like you know nowadays whenever we go online there's you know everybody is trying to sell us something everybody is trying to sell us something and it's so easy to be sold if we're not in a good place and we're not emotionally strong so that it's so it's easier for people to kind of play on our emotions and sell us a dream because most of our purchases if not all of our purchases are are, are based on emotions so if we're not if we're not in a good place emotionally and we're not thinking clearly, this is where it's so easy for someone to imprint, you know, to, to, to play on our imagination, play on our weaknesses and boom, we jump in and make a purchase and didn't even think things through, but was coming from a place of fear and instability. So when it comes to say today and the beaver energy coming out, you know, today's energy is bringing me to the importance of knowing the difference between your intuition and your imagination, the difference between your intuition and your imagination. And for me, I can tell the difference between my intuition and my imagination, because when something is my imagination, um, an imagination, when something is my imagination, um, there's these extreme emotions like Neptune or Pisces energy. You could tell when you're projecting because you're experiencing extreme emotions. And when something is the intuition, there's no emotion behind it. It's just this feeling of just knowing. You just have this knowing, but it's not backed by any strong emotions. Where when we're projecting and our imagination is, you know, seeming like it's our intuition, there's this strong emotional feeling uh, behind the decision. It's almost like this will mean something if I if I do this, you know. So keep in mind and pay attention to, you know, investing or jumping or starting anything where you're coming from a place of these strong emotions. Because coming from a place of these strong emotions, it just might mean that okay, um, I'm gonna I'm going to go after this path because. It'll mean that I'll finally get respect from the people that I love if I have this title, if I achieve this thing or the next. So just the thought of how others will respond gives this strong emotional feeling and, you know, boom, we jump in only to realize that the process that it'll take to achieve the goal is just not in alignment with who we are. So we can't even get past the process to get to the goal. So we'll find ourselves wasting money, energy, feeling like we're broken and not enough or, and don't have what it takes when we're trying to compare a bird to a fish. We're trying to compare a bird to a dog, a fish to a dog in the sense that we're all different and we all have it within us to pursue the thing that's in alignment with who we are. And when we force ourselves to go after things that's not in alignment with who we are, even if we're able to make it happen, sometimes it might cause us our, our mental and physical health. So it's like, even though we achieve it, you know, we're still we're, we're measurable in the process. So with the nine of pentacles coming up, this brings me to say uh, uh, material, uh, material growth, material abundance. Um, I think about this energy where we're fantasizing about, you know, having all this money and luxury and the finest, the finest things around us, having finer things around us. So when it comes to say the beaver energy in the building, we might find ourselves building in places or building on things that's not in alignment with who we are. So if we're building on things that's not in alignment with who we are, that's when we find ourselves spending all this money going to school and then finally getting the degree but not working in that field because we realize that I can't do this. This is not in alignment with who I am or pursuing the path, getting the degree and working in the field, but feeling absolutely miserable and feeling guilty about feeling miserable because you should feel happy because you're doing well financially or we're working in the field. We, we have all the accolades and things like that. But financially, we're struggling because we're overdoing it in order to keep up or to show that we're successful, to show that we're making things happen, to show that, you know, we're living our best lives. Um, when it comes to, say, the energies in today, um, it just brings me to say the importance of, you know, questioning yourself, questioning your desires. Is this something that is in alignment with my truth? If I was a, if I was the last person on earth, would I still be interested in pursuing this? If if I was if I was to 
have to do this for free, can I do this? You know, those are some questions to ask yourself as you might entertain the thought of starting or investing into into new things, into certain things, or ask yourself, am I investing into this because it's popular? Or am I investing into this because I'm afraid of missing out? Because just those emotions associated to, you know, the reasons can really help you to see like, you know, is this my intuition or is this fear? Is this fear? Is this my emotions? Um, my emotions encouraging me to take action because of fear, whether it's fear of missing out or fear of not leveling up to certain standards and expectation. But is fear the factor in this new start, this new beginning, this new idea? So Venus is the ruler of the day because Friday is associated with Venusian energy and Venus is in Leo. And with Venus and Leo, this is where we're reflecting on ourselves, our abilities to express ourselves, uh, ex reflecting on our inner child and how much we value those things. And I feel like from reflecting on those things and how much we value those things, I feel like that's the energy that will help us to kind of put up a fight as a part of us is pulling us to a path that we know so well that we know don't work for us. But out of fear of instability, we're considering it. But I feel like Venus retrograde in Leo is helping us to reflect on, you know, the importance of betting on ourselves, the importance of going after what's in our heart, the importance of allowing our inner child to smile, the importance of not suppressing and hiding our inner child away because we're adults now and we're strong enough and able to protect ourselves. So there's no need to, you know, allow or make certain parts of ourselves hide away so that other people could feel comfortable. I feel like this Venus in, in Leo, a Venus retrograde in Leo energy is really beneficial as far as helping us to you know, reflect on what's important to us, what's in our heart. I look at how Venus uh, conjuncts one of the Lilith placements. So this is where we're valuing ourselves as far as like reflecting on how we might have been rejected or how we might have been rejected or villainized for standing out, for being ourselves, how we were, how some of us were made to feel like we need to make ourselves small so others would like us. And when I think about the Venus um, conjunct, uh, Lilith and Leo, it brings me to say, you know, what I said about the inner child real coming to the realization that like, no, I will not make myself feel small. So others could feel good about themselves. That's their problem. That's something that they need to work out. That's something that they need to handle. But I'll never do that to myself ever again. So when it comes to the energies in today, you know, listen to your listen to your listen to your inner child listen to your inner child listen to what's in your heart when i say listen to your inner child and listen to what's in your heart if money was if money or status wasn't a factor would you entertain the thing that you might be encouraging yourself to entertain today or to start or to pursue um when it comes to those of us who just need to need to have an income to pay bills and to survive. Like, I, I believe, you know, it's important to do whatever you got to do legally that doesn't get in the way of your integrity, you know, that doesn't compromise your integrity. So doing whatever it is that you got to do legally that doesn't compromise your integrity to pay your bills and provide for yourself and your family. But as soon as you're in the position where you're able to provide for yourself and your family, um, and you're consistently doing so, then you want to use any free time that you have and start working towards that thing that's in your heart, uh, working towards that thing that really matters to you. You guys, such a pleasure sharing this message with you as usual. If you'd like to book a natal chart reading with me or check out my exclusive weekly contents only on Patreon, the links for that is in the description box below. Please let me know you're still here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.